I think I'll be turning in. <laughs> well, I have to be running along pretty well soon myself, so... Oh, how about a... How about a nightcap? All right, Jack, sure. All right, dear. Oh, yes, of course. Good night. Good night, Joanna. Good night, sweetie. Good night, darling. I wanted to wait until she'd gone to bed. I know it's very late, but this is important, Tim. This, this x-ray business with her broken ribs. <laughs> well, what about it? This is serious, Tim. Let me get these freights. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Now, this is, the, this is the picture that I took the day of the accident. You see the break? Sure. Well, now, this is the print that I took yesterday. The same Joanna, same position, same rib. Two days later. What do you see? Well, it's not broken. Right. It's completely healed. Not a scratch. Not even any evidence of a fracture. I tell you, Tim, that it's things like this that makes a fellow study his pictures more closely than ever. And believe me, I've studied these very, very closely. That's how I happen to discover these other things. Oh, what other things? Her heart, for instance. You remember a year ago, Joanna came to me for a checkup? Yeah. I took an electrocardiograph and took some x-rays. Her heart was perfectly normal. Now look. A heart only half the normal size. It's unbelievable. And her appendix. Look at it. I can't see it. It isn't there, Tim. You mean she has no appendix? That's right. But she had one a year ago. And she's had no appendectomy. No, she hasn't. She has no scar. No appendix. A heart half the normal size and a rib that knits in two days. Tim, there's something medically strange about Joanna. Very strange. Asleep, dear. Just Jack on? Yes. He tells me that your broken rib is mended perfectly. Yes, he told me. What else was he saying? Oh, nothing. We just talked. Just talked? Yes. Well, it's not important, dear. Just a lot of nonsense about your heart getting smaller, your rib mending so fast, something about your appendix. Tim, sit down. Sit down. You've got to talk about something, Tim. I didn't attempt for you to find out so soon. Find out what, dear? How can I make you understand? Tim, I'm... I'm changed. I was afraid that Jack would notice something when I went to him about a broken rib. I thought he wouldn't. He would. Perhaps it's better that we talk about it now. Well, what are you trying to say, dear? I'm changing. I'm changing in, in many ways, not just the size of my heart or appendix. Other things that even Jack doesn't know about. That's a part of it, but only a, a small part. I've discovered things about myself. Things that are sometimes strange, sometimes even frightening. I can... Tim, I can do things I don't think anybody else can do. I can control objects. I can make things move, in other words, Tim. Joanna, in heaven's name, stop saying things like that. Please, darling, you must be ill. Oh, I'm not. Now, look, dear, you, you're exhausted. You're worn out. Let's pack up and go no, away no, tomorrow. No, 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 I must show you. I must show you, Tim. Tim, look. be seeing things. But what is it? What is listen this? To me, listen to me, listen to me. I have the power to do lots of things other people can't do. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I think that, that I'm becoming an entirely new kind of human being. I'm developing every day. I'm learning things. I'm growing strong. It's almost as if I were just growing up, reaching maturity. Tim, look in the top drawer of the bureau. Go ahead, please. Please. 
While you're away during the day, I'm, I'm studying. I'm learning new things. I'm, I'm working. The elastic impact of the laser and the living guideposts of the past. John, I'm making nuclear fission as a yes. source of power. Yes, can't you see that, I'm, that I have an intellect developing and advancing, just as my other powers are? This is frightening. I can't understand it, dear. What, what about us? What, what is all going to lead to? I don't know. Already I've grown beyond you. In a few months... Two weeks, even you Then you have to stop it, dear. You I must. can't stop it. I can't stop it. Can you expect a, a plant to stop growing? Can you make it go back into a seed? I can't help it. I'm becoming a different being. Oh, my darling, I can't take you with me. I can't take you with me. Darling, I love you. I love you. I love you with all my heart. But soon that love will change. It'll be the kind of love that we have for champions. The sort of love you have for a, a lower species. Oh, forgive me, my darling. I don't want that to happen. I couldn't bear it. So I... I think... I think we'd better make the break now. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. While we have the right memories. The pleasant memories, not the good ones. Can you understand that, my precious? I... I want it to take longer. But now you found out too soon, you'd better face it. Now, but even you still hurts. Hurts very much. Before we go back to our tale of tomorrow, let's take a look at yesterday. Let's go back to the days of swordsmanship and the famous Count of Monte Cristo. On guard, defend yourself. Remember Monte Cristo, famous swordsman on the field of honor? Now Chrysler glorifies the sword of Monte Cristo in one of its new Monte Cristo watch bands for men. Inspired by the royal crests of old, each of these Chrysler watch bands carries a fabulous coat of arms. Choose your favorite. Here is the Fleur de Lis crest the emblem of nobility. And here is the symbol of kingly splendor, a royal crown. Then, there is the costly jewelry look, sparkling rhinestones on rich simulated onyx. And in all Chrysler bands, super calibrated seven coil springs for extra expansion and flexibility. Each Monte Cristo watch band is packaged in Chrysler's unique pistol box. Best of all, Chrysler's new Monte Cristo watch bands cost no more than many ordinary watch bands, only $12.95. Go to your jeweler. Buy the Monte Cristo. Make your watch look better than you with Chrysler. Quite a story. Quite a story. The next morning, the morning after the doctor paid us his visit, she was gone. Just like that? Just like that. What did you do? What could I do? I had no one to turn to. I couldn't expect anyone to believe me. What about the doctor? Did you talk to him? I tried. What's the use? He's a medical man. The only thing that interested him were the physical changes. You said it was five years ago that she left you. But tonight? Well, I saw her a year later. You did? How? Well, I kept waiting, hoping, reading newspapers. I didn't know exactly what I was looking for, but something told me that one day I'd find something. And then one day I did. The picture was blurred. The name was different. But something seemed to tell me it was Joanna. It couldn't be anyone except Joanna. Even though the paper said she was only 20 years old. I took a plane to Berkeley, California. Joanna. 
down and be quiet. And over here is Marion Parkhurst. Joanna, you've come back to me. You've got to come back to me. Don't be silly. I've explained it all to you. But I can't understand that, dear. All I know is that I love you and I want you with me. Jim, don't. Darling, it was all a trick, wasn't it? Tell me it was a trick. The statuettes, the x-rays. You were angry about something you wanted to get away from. Well, that's all past, dear. Come back to me. It wasn't a trick. Look at me. Look at me, Tim. Am I the same? Of course you're the same. You're no different. You're no different to me. I am. I'm changing every day. Now I know why it is happening. I know what it means. I'm the first of a new race. A new kind of being. I don't understand all that. All I I know is that I love you. You must shut up. Nobody knows about me here. Nobody must know until everything is ready. Oh, Joanna. Jim, wait here. Where are you going? I'm going to get my coat. Can't go off here. I'll be back at home. Disappeared through the wall, you figure? You tell me. Did you see her again? Not for four years. Not for four years, you said. But I heard from her, though. Oh? She wrote to you? No, no. I kept reading newspapers and scientific periodicals. I kept this scrapbook. You see, every once in a while I'd read about an an invention by some young woman scientist. I knew always that it was Joanna. Some new discovery in the field of radiation. Now, now for example, you take this. I knew that that was Joanna. And over here is that electronic telescope. It all led to the same thing. I kept track of it. Joanna, somewhere in the world, working, growing, developing. I couldn't couldn't forget her. Four years passed, and then the night I saw her again. I suppose I've been growing despondent over losing Joanna, drinking too much. I even thought of killing myself. I bought a gun, but I guess you'd say I was on the skids. But I kept thinking it would suddenly be all right again. That I'd come in the house one evening and Joanna would be there and it would be like old times. Tonight I went to the Clover Club. Lately I've been going there more and more frequently. But tonight, as I walked in, my heart almost stopped. There she was, more beautiful and radiant than ever. It was as if she had come back after all. This horrible nightmare was over. My Joanna was mine again, warm and beautiful, right in front of me. Joanna, Joanna, darling, Don't Joanna, touch me. Joanna, you've you've come back to me. I'm waiting for someone else. Go away and leave me alone. Joanna, darling, I still love you. Can't we forget these past five horrible years and begin again? I'm not of your kind anymore. Go away. Joanna. You're nothing to me. Nothing. My time, our time to rule is coming soon. Sooner than even I realize. You've been listening. Joanna. (laughs) 
Joanna. You. I had to. You killed him. He heard us. But you. You killed him in cold blood. Why? He might have told others. We're not ready yet. I can't wait. So you decide just like that. You destroy just like that. You're not human. You have no feelings for me or for anyone. You've got too much power, Joanna. There's no one to stop you. Get rid of anyone who stands in your way. You're ruthless, hard, cold. That's what you are. A menace, a terror. A godless, godless. No one is safe while you live. And you ran all the way home after you shot him? You didn't stop anywhere? No. No, I came right home. I suppose it's murder. I'd call it execution. She was my wife, but she wasn't human anymore. She could have made the world unfit to live in. If I hadn't killed her, someone else would have. People like her have got to be killed, and killed they will be. This so-called new class will find out that might does not make right now or in the future. You're wrong, Hathaway. Wrong. Joanna is still alive. What? Your bullets couldn't possibly harm Joanna. She's alive and she's waiting for me. Waiting for you just as she was waiting for me tonight. When you interfered. When I interfered? Yes. You see, she's not the only one. Between Joanna and me, the new race will begin. What are you saying? Are you trying to tell me that you... Me, Hathaway. Me. Our secret's got to be kept a little while longer. our tale of tomorrow. Two weeks from tonight, look for an exciting new tale of tomorrow, The Crystal Egg by H.G. Wells and starring Thomas Mitchell. And now, a final word from the Chrysler Kids. Jack Chrysler, Jack Chrysler, on my hand, on your hand, crowned with royal crest to make it look grand, so grand, it's Chrysler, Chrysler, for me too, for you too, make sure what looks better than new, quality, style, and value too, it's the man of my hand, it's Chrysler, <laughs> make sure what looks better is best, the glamour of the royal crest is Chrysler. <laughs> Monday's Gowns by Bob Mortelli. Two weeks from tonight, Chrysler brings you Thomas Mitchell 
in H.G. Wells' The Crystal Egg, a new adventure in Tales of Tomorrow. Remember, next week you'll thrill to Tales of Tomorrow, the exciting science fiction show presented by Jack Chrysler. Men, make your watch look better than you with Chrysler's handsome Monte Cristo expansion watch band with a richly enameled crest. And ladies, see how Chrysler's new flirtation watch band adds jeweled beauty to your watch. Remember, look for Jack Chrysler at your jeweler. It's the name that means quality in watch bands. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in New York, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.